welcome back everybody to Let's Play Forbidden Siren. Alright, so we're nearing the end of the game, I think. Uh, I believe we've done all of Day 2's missions. Yeah, it looks like they're all finished. And from here, we just need to get uh, Day 3 done. So yeah, we're about almost done with the game. There's not many missions on Day 3. It's kind of weird. I mean, most of the... Uh, I mean, uh, a lot of the levels take place, like, all in the first day, really. But, I mean, I guess that's because they're introducing a lot of characters. Well, yeah, I guess. Anyways, uh, let's see. Uh, Tamon Takauchi. We could do this one already, actually. Um, I think I just did that one in the last video. I don't know. Let me see. Or K Makinos. One of those. Or Harumi again. Uh, oh. <laughs> what is locked? Oh, that is right. Oh, come on. <laughs> I need that toy monkey. But I, there, there has to be a way to do this without using the toy monkey. There, there should be. There has to be a way. I'm going to try and see. Alright, so there is a way to beat this level without using the toy monkey. Uh, actually, what you're supposed to do is uh, get the batteries out of the toy monkey and put them in an alarm clock to distract a uh, certain sub uh, Shibiru. But yeah, um, we're not going to do that. It is totally possible just to slip by him. Yeah, so mission objective 2 is reach central intersection. Alright. Um, not that much different from the original, um, uh, mission, really, it, like, the exits may as well be in the same place because they're just so close to each other. Well, not that close, but you get what I mean. You're essentially doing the same thing. Alright, so we're gonna sidejack this guy again. We're gonna hide over here behind the dumpster. I almost forgot about that. Um, I believe you can actually get by him if, if even if you are seen. Um, what you do is uh, you trigger him and and what is it? What is it? Damn it! Forgot. Yeah, wait for him to howl, and when he's howling, you could just like run right by him. It's pretty cool. I've been watching a lot of like uh, speedrun strats on this game, so yeah, that's where I'm getting all this from. All right. Uh, let me see. Actually, beginning the the speedrun strat from Mr. Bonesaw. Um, he's a speedrunner of this game. I believe he goes to AGDQ every now and then. So yeah, look him up. Shoutouts to him, Mr. Um, Bonesaw. All right, yeah, don't don't go in there. I was I was thinking, is that the way? No, it isn't. Uh, all right, yeah, I'll go this way. So yeah, the same thing as before. All of this is the same. Uh, we're just going through here. And yeah, the same thing here. Uh, use the bag of laughs. So it could divert the Shibiru away from her. I don't know what the hell she was doing. <laughs> She's like um, sharpening her knife. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, you gotta be careful here. She could totally hear you. <laughs> Alright. So we're almost to the end of the level. It's, there's not really that much. When it comes to Harumi, because she can't fight. Ah, excuse me. Same thing here. Where is that Shibito? There he is. <laughs> Actually kind of hard to see for me right now since I'm doing this in the day. I'm recording this right now in the daytime. And there's a glare on my freaking TV screen. Glares are so distracting. I mean, how can you not agree? I hate them. 
All right. Across the bridge. I, be I believe this is the Chibiki Bridge. Oh, he's getting tired. Let's rest for a bit. There we go. Just good. Where's the... I forgot where the hole was. <laughs> oh, here it is. Alright. So we come through here. Uh, you'll notice that this uh, door down here is now open. Last time it wasn't. Uh, there's, we don't really need to go in here, but I'll just show it off. This is where you're supposed to distract the distributor that's up there on this bridge. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to go through here. Uh, there's a clock. It's not working because its batteries are dead. Yeah, and that's when you take the monkey toy and replace the batteries. Um, I know where the monkey toy is at. I'll probably show it at the end of this video just to show you um, where it is and if you want to do it that way. But, I mean, when you could do it this way, I mean, you don't really need it. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if this door was locked originally. I don't think it is. But, yeah, this room, it's full of blood. It's just gross. <laughs> There's blood everywhere, yes. Alright, so you need to sight check this Shibito here. I kind of want him to face away from this door. I don't know where he's at though. I think he's pretty close to the door where I'm at. Yeah, he is. Alright, so he's walking over there. We can go ahead and open it. Turn off your flashlight. And just kind of walk right behind him. If you saw who that was, that's the principal. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Mr. Nagoshi. Alright, so we can actually outrun him. Pretty, pretty fine. So, we'll go over here to this corner of the lamp. And crawl inside through this gap. And there you go. He can't get us from here. He's over there. Like an idiot. And here we are. We're at the central intersection. And this is Mission Objective 2 done. I was saying in the... In the what is it? Uh, hold on. Okay, yeah, I was saying in the last uh, episode, like, um, this part of the village um, looks rather different. Because I noticed that this is the center of the village, and if I remember correctly, at the beginning of the game, when you're fighting the cop, you're still in the real world. Like, you're still there before, you know, before everything goes to crap. And I think right now, we, this is like... This is the way the village looked in 1976. Yes, that's right. I remember because the the, the story has uh, like like going back in time and different you know uh, time travel uh, in different dimensions and stuff like that. So we're in the you know Hanunda 1976. So yeah, in the <laughs> in present day, um, as you saw, there wasn't really much. There was just kind of like a construction site there, and yeah, just a few shops. So, okay, we're getting a new cutscene with Kei Makino. Dita <laughs> Makino. Our paths are always crossing, aren't they? The shared consciousness of twins? I have been nothing but a pathetic fool. I still would have given anything to be you even so. Do you know what it's like to feel inferior to your own double? I didn't know. I was only doing the job that was required of me. Had it been different, this wouldn't have happened. My part is done. Now I will exit the stage. I don't want to be a monster. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. <laughs> okay, well... Shiro has ex exit the picture? Question mark? <laughs> oh, well, we'll see. We'll see. And, oh, God. <laughs> we're back to this again. Okay, no. We don't want to see that. We're not here for that yet. All right, continue to the next loop. No, I do not wish to save. Stage select. Okay, so what missions, uh, what other missions have we got available? Uh, Tomon Takauchi. Hmm. I'll take them here. Yeah, I think we could do this one. Yeah, <laughs> alright. I mean, we really only have, like, three levels left of this game, I believe. Like, there's not much left. <laughs> uh, there's oh. still uh, two more levels we haven't gotten to yet, though. Actually, three more this levels. Is what I'd call a rude awakening. Which is what I just said. And we already seen that scene, so we don't have to see it again. <laughs> Alright. Uh, uh, mission Objective 2, Penetrate Gate to the Nest Court, SKO Yasuda. It's kind of the same thing like it said before, but for some reason it's... I don't know. You really don't do much different in this mission. So, yeah. There's not much deviation, just slightly. Alright, it's the same thing as before. We don't want to sight jack you, we want to sight jack you. You, sir. Sorry, I for actually forgot the number. 4216, okay. Alright, so we're gonna make the phone call. Damn it. <laughs> okay, I screwed that up. Alright. Do this, do this again. I'm no screwing up this time. 4216, come on. That took longer than needed. Alright. <laughs> It is super dark here, and the glare on my TV doesn't help. <laughs> Just gonna answer the phone like an idiot. And of course he hears me running away. <sighs> Alright, so this time, um... Actually, I want, want to get that steel pipe still. I don't think it's good to run here, because that guy might come out of the out of here and he'll definitely see me because I have to go up there I mean he shouldn't be a big deal like he's not he's not tough or anything but I just don't really want to deal with him all right so this time we go up here this way and I believe we're going to Kondo's house uh, let me see yes we are we're going to Kondo's house all right so we go up this way and now we're able to gain through Kondo's house because Harumi earlier on uh, unlocked the door, if you remember. Alright, just, just let go. I mean, we just drop down the ladder. There you go. Alright, so the door should be open now. There you go. Uh, what we have to do here is um, make a distraction, like we, like we pretty much do all the time. Uh, this should be here. He's over. Oh, we need to go down there, and he's in the way. We can't get past him. So what we need to do is come over here to this back room, and there's a record player. And remember that record needle you got? Well, you're gonna use it here. And we'll play the record. I need to get myself a record player, actually. I'd like to have one. And it doesn't even play, it just crackles. That's it. And you could just go ahead and hide in here in the bathroom. Or you could just wait for him to open the door and just beat the crap out of him. Alright. 
All right, he's coming inside. Hurry up, man. And there you go, he's off. Now we could get by, and the end of Tomon's section should be right up here. Which, uh, almost exactly in the same place as uh, if you were doing mission one. Not much changes, really. Oh, crap. Oh, I forgot about you. <laughs> I forgot about you. Ow. Not good. Come on, I'm gonna die here. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's see, let's go. Leave down here. Yes, down here. Uh, this will lead to like a power junction box. Actually, and it's gonna help us when we're going uh, <laughs> through this little checkpoint area with Kiyoya. Okay, and we're loading. <laughs> Again, I don't remember it doing that on the PS2 version. It's kind of weird. I need to find Miyako. I promised her we would escape together. All right, find something to use as a weapon. Um, I believe, yeah, it's the last time, and that that was um, the rifle we get over there later. All right, so same thing as before. We need to get the car jack or the floor jack. What? I don't know. I, I, isn't it a car jack? I mean, I could be wrong. I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know exactly everything or the correct terminology for everything. <laughs> Whatever, the floor jack. Uh, you get it, you, you know, pop up the truck so you can crawl under it. Yeah. Okay. So, um, we're pretty much going through the same route as before. Nothing changes in Kiyoya's section, not like Tamon's. Uh, the only thing that's going to change at the end of uh, Kiyoya's section is when we have to go through... Uh, we're, we're actually going to have to go through that warehouse where all the snipers are at. So that's the only thing that changes, really. Spire should be over there, but we could just run past him. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Wait a minute, where is he? Oh. Yeah, let's just run away. Screw him. I, I kind of stopped there because I don't want to, like, you know, face plant into the wall. Yeah, I forgot he could climb up like a freaking butthole. Get away. Yeah, I, I need to get out of here. Screw this. Jump down, Kyoya! Okay. There you go. It's kind of hard to see. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, so we go back here. Back up here. This little labyrinth kind of um, wooden area. Usually that guy's right there, but... Oh, there he is. Oh, okay, he died. Yeah, move, please. Yeah. All right, so we jump over here. <sighs> and my dogs are going to start barking. Damn it. All right, so he's over there. Uh Wait, where again? Where is he? Oh, crap. <laughs> right in the ass. Alright. Oh, oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> oh, no! Uh-uh. No. 
I thought that was the only one there, damn. Alright. Alright, so we're at the end of the level. Uh, we're not quite finished yet. Still gotta do one more thing. On this door. And drop down. Ah. <laughs> it's face planted into the pole. Miyako, where are you? Use my eyes. Dead. Go ahead. Okay, so yeah, you gotta sight Jack Miyako's like voice or spirit or something. <laughs> and she's right over there. So we actually don't even need to sight Jack. And the game won't even let me sight Jack, so yeah. Just run through here. Ow. And there we go. So see, uh, Tamon pretty much shut off the lights, so we could get across. Just a bit more. Almost there. Yeah, because otherwise we just, we, we just get murdered, like, die horribly. <laughs> Alright, new cutscene with Kiyoya. Miyako, where did you go? It's you. Good to see you again. Use it. That's your role, isn't it? Erase everything. Nothing can be left. I have a job to do as well. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I've noticed that doesn't sound like K. Hey. Hmm. I really need to stop acting like I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, back at the Hanunda Mine. I haven't been here since day one. Sun's already setting. No time to lose. Alright, so mission objective is to reach the road to the floodgates. And that is, um, let me see, to floodgates. Uh, yeah, it's uh, basically where Akira started in day one. Trolley. Why is that landmark there? Actually, that trolley is rather dangerous because we can't just go directly out of the stage. We actually gotta uh, kind of kill all the Shibidu here. Because if we try to exit the stage, that trolley is just going to run over us. It's just going to run us over. So, yeah. Just a, we should just still have the gun. Okay. Uh, yes, and we also got... Excuse me? Hold on. <laughs> what? I, 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 I guess. We haven't even done that mission yet. But it's there because I, I guess we do kind of need to use it in this level, but... I, I don't know, that's just weird. Alright, we're gonna switch to the hammer because we got limited bullets in our revolver. We only got six. Yeah, kinda need those. Hammer's great. I, <laughs> hammer is like... <laughs> it's the best like weapon. It's one of the best weapons in the game. Oh crap. Look at that, the fast strike just, just works. Wait. Alright, so. 
Let me see, what is this? There's a key. Uh, oh yes, I do believe, yes, you need this key. You need to go to tunnel one. All right. Um, there's some rather familiar faces in this level. Oh yeah, that's what the key is for. I forgot. For this um, gate here, just to get out. A little strange that they put it, that they just have it locked. It's weird. Ow. Oh, one hit. Yeah, hammer's beast. Just wrecks. Alright, so we need to find the brains of this area so we can kill all these freaking dudes. I think I said brains. Yeah, because there are two. Two brains. One of them, there's one in each tunnel. One on the left, one on the right where I'm at. Ah, I have an itch. <laughs> Alright, so the one in here. There she is, and you know who that is. That's Risa. Holy crap, what the hell does she even have? She's rather resilient now that she's a brain. Jesus Christ. Wait, what? What? What did it say? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna pick up the key because we do need the spare key to the sign shack. She won't be able to move for some time. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, um, you do have to pin her with the stake, and if you remember, you got that on day two, like at midnight. From the coffin. And you do need the hammer. Which was found on day one, very early on in day one. I don't even know if you could really um what is it? Uh get to like to these levels without um what is it? Uh picking up the hammer. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think you can, but you you just have to go back to one of these levels. Yeah, you have to go back to this one here. Yeah, because I do remember in my first playthrough, I had to go all the way back to someone's first mission to open that stupid thing, to like, uh, open the valve to drain the water so you could get in the whale. Which is the mission I think we're gonna do next. The game lets me. I don't know if it will. I, I don't remember... <laughs> Yeah, I kill, kill these two. Oh, yeah, I don't remember if the game is going to take me straight to the final level or not. And there's Mina. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot her. And it's rather simple. That's if I don't die. Really? I freaking hate you, you stupid idiot. See you back at the spot. Alright, there we go. It's down. Down for the count. Alright, so what we want to do here is come over here. And you see these exposed wires? Yeah, it's been said with dynamite. What we could do is connect them. And we're going to set them off. So that Mina cannot get back up. Alright, so. Oh, that's right. Um. We need to get the key to the siren shack because it is locked now for some reason. And I had to restart because I just remembered I died there. In a very stupid way. So we need to kill reset again. There you go. Of course she even has a chance to hit me. I'm gonna stick her to the ground. And pick up her key. Alright, so now we go into the siren shack because um, the detonation device or whatever the remote is in here. Okay. 
And if you remember uh, this key here, we got it on Risa's like first level, which was back in day one. It was like at the Tobori house near a uh, uh, dog house. Yeah, as you see, they're all dead. Well, dead as could be, I mean, if the brains get back up, uh, <laughs> they're just gonna, yeah, get back up too. So there you go, Mino's under all that. And Orisa can't get back up. So we stake her to the ground. Alright, so now we can get out of the level without getting killed. Because like I said before, um... Uh, yeah, there is a spider Shibito up here who, like, once you get halfway through here, he will just knock the trolley down the tracks. And yeah, the trolley will just kill you, it will just run over you. Uh, there is a good, uh, like, a glitch to get by it, or I think it's, uh, abusing invincibility frames to do it. You gotta lure a spider Shibito up there, and right when the trolley's about to hit you, you have to let him hit you. So that you kind of just go through the trolley, you know, you, you just <laughs> completely go through it. And he's the one that will be killed in the process. It's kind of funny. All right. resisted the temptation of the sirens for decades lying here. Everlasting life means everlasting pain. I'll end it all, end your suffering. Hmm. Alright, so with that, that's gonna be this episode, and I'll see you guys, I believe I'm gonna probably make the next episode the final episode, because there's not much left. So I'll see you guys next time.